And C.J. Anderson still down. Coming up, Portland State, Kansas. And later on, Temple will take on Tom Izzo and Michigan State. Anderson, the junior from Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, he is a transfer from Manhattan, and uh, he is a very electric player on the boards. Having him go down early is not a good sign right here. Let's see what quality has in his step. Seems to be okay, huh? Well, Anderson right here should have made this shot. Missed a chippy, and then when he came down, took an elbow to the face. That'll get your attention. Well, Bob, what that does as we start our 27th road to the Final Four, that's the early wake-up call here at, uh, what, 12.25 <laughs> Eastern Time. Hello. <laughs> well, I'm sure... Craig Gumbel in New York. As with all our games, we'll keep track of this one for you. In Washington, D.C., Georgia and Xavier are in a timeout. 23-17, Georgia. The Bulldogs are probably wondering, what if we deserve the first game the on first Thursday? The first game for? Thursday. Hey, they don't need rest. We know that about them. But Xavier's having a very tough time shooting the ball. They're 6 for 17 right now from the field. I think Georgia has to be careful not to try to run with the Musketeers, Clark. I think the Musketeers really want to get up and down the floor. And uh, so far, Georgia's been patient, but they need to hold on to that. I agree with you, Seth. Controlling the tempo, very important for Georgia. It's halftime of the game in Washington where Georgia is taking on Xavier, and this is Jeremy Price for the dunk, and the Bulldogs on top 23-17, Clark. Yeah, doing a nice job there, and then Xavier's Derek Brown going to step back. Very versatile performer for Xavier. Splashes a three. It's a one-point game, but a nice alley-oop. That was Terrence Woodbury to Albert Jackson, and Georgia shooting over 50% from the floor, controlling pace, and I think Xavier has gotten a little frustrated. They missed some shots early and I think they they forced some shots lat the latter part of that first half. I guess there's no fatigue factor for Georgia right well, two games Saturday one Sunday and the first game of the day today. Well this is easy they've actually had a couple of days of rest here for them so I wouldn't expect them to go away uh, in that respect in the second half but Clark is correct Xavier needs to really crank up its offense I think their lack of offensive efficiency is hurting them on the defensive end and they need to try to get some transition opportunities they better wake up here because Georgia is a tough defensive team they like playing it in the half court and they are not going anywhere. Georgia ends the first half on a 10 2 right? Here's a guy who can move. Rip away. Lavender. And shot high the back down. He's still on the floor. Blue screaming. She's got the gun. Back to Bliss. Boy, defensive pressure really picking up here by Xavier. And everybody on the deck. They're dusting the floor. It's the guard again. It's still pretty good. I mean, you got to take the first good one you can get against Georgia's defense. Burrell gives it up. The two-hander is under eight minutes to play. Raymond, yes, is off the rim. Loose ball. Musketeers, two on two. Burrell, yes. Jackson, and the four on the floor. Yes, and it's over. Seventy-three, sixty-one. Xavier moves on to round 